Hey, 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 guys, it's Old Man G here back again. And from one shock to another, Jose Mourinho confirmed as Spurs manager, as the new Spurs manager. Um, wow. Um, before we get into it, um, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, how we united X. Check the podcast in, in the description below and join our growing discord community would really appreciate it smash that notification button for the latest um united facing news now obviously this is still related to spurs but it's, it's kind of this all this news has been breaking the last couple of hours or so um in a previous video we talked about the fact that pochettino had been sacked um by levy um and that was obviously a shock and whether pochettino would be a good replacement for ollie coming to united but uncle moan Jose Mourinho, um, it's been confirmed. Um, it has been confirmed um, that Jose Mourinho will be the new Spurs manager. Um, and wow, all I can say is wow, 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 wow. Smash that like if, if, you, if you're shocked as me because um, I didn't see that coming or at least I thought that um, maybe Spurs would take a bit of time or maybe interim and maybe wait, make a decision around the Christmas. I don't know. But Spurs, Daniel Levy is is quite a shrewd guy. He's very shrewd. Um, clearly, if he was approaching uh, Jose Mourinho, and the fact that it's been so quick, like not even a day or two to deliberate, just like boom, it's quick. He's literally going to be a um, new manager. Um, I think is quite, um, you know, that tells me that Daniel Levy at the very least must have been in contact with Jose Mourinho sometime before. Um, the international break, or at least in discussions um, with him. Now they probably there. Now they probably were other candidates as well. But um, I don't know. I'm just very, very, very surprised by announcement. Um, I, I can sense that a lot of Spurs fans and a lot of uh, uh, fans, uh, Arsenal fans, even a lot of them don't want him to be manager. Um, I'm sure Chelsea um, fans will be absolutely, um, given the fact that Chelsea fans hate Tottenham. Um, just absolutely despise Spurs. Um, the fact that he's now going to manage Spurs is a big kick in the teeth um, to Chelsea. I mean, it, it, you know, if we're talking about a massive, it'd be like, I mean, okay, it's not as bad as Real Madrid or Barcelona or even United, Liverpool, I think Spurs, and, but it's still there. Um, Chelsea fans still, you know, have beef with Spurs fans. You know, uh, much like with Arsenal, beef with Spurs fans. So the fact that he literally be going to Spurs, I mean, the only thing I guess I would say is that it made great banter for the Tottenham Chelsea games, the Tottenham um, Arsenal games, and honestly, and this and this is where I guess this come, this does this does become relevant to Manchester United, is that we do play Tottenham next week. We play Spurs next week. This weekend, obviously, playing Sheffield United. We play Spurs next weekend, and my goodness, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Versus Jose Mourinho. I didn't think I was going to see that. Not for some time anyway. But the fact that just over about a year. Because I think Mourinho was sacked probably just under just under a year ago um, this time. For Ole Gunnar Solskjaer to come face to face. In a, I would argue a must win game. If we want to keep track of top four. And have a new rival in um, Jose Mourinho. Is absolutely massive. And I'll be doing a very extensive preview um where next week for um and hopefully get you get get some calls in from you guys to let you know what you think because united need to beat spurs um and i would have thought that you know with pochettino and the run that we're going it was going to be an easy game we, we were actually we we're actually favorites probably to actually win that game given the disarray now with jose Mourinho in charge it's going to be very difficult because Jose Mourinho will have a point to prove. We, um, we, uh, he'll know how to play against United. He'll know the players. He'll know their strengths and weaknesses. Um, and then really, aside from Maguire and Wan Bissaka, who he brought in, um, and Daniel James, um, Spurs, frankly, ultimately do have us. Ultimately, have a better starting eleven than United. And with Mourinho, with a better defence. Um, they could cause us problems. But anyway, I don't want us to get into the United Spurs preview. 
What do you think, guys, about Jose Mourinho being the new Spurs manager? Do you think this is a good thing for Spurs? Do you think it's a bad thing for Spurs? Let me know in the comments below. If you like what you listen to, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, We United X. Have a look at our Red Devil Studio Live podcast on iTunes and Spotify now, and join our growing Discord community. Smash that notification button for the latest news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers.